How many CCTV cameras are there in the UK? It's a question many have tried to answer. Yesterday, the BSIA launched its report, The Picture Is Not Clear, which claimed there could be as many as 5.9 million CCTV surveillance cameras, or as few as 4 million. It depends on how you analyse the data. What's the headline figure then? How many CCTV cameras are there in the UK? Well, um, there is a range, and um, the BSIA statistics start at a low number of 4 million to 4.9 in the mid-range and 5.9 million at the top range. Right. And what's the significance of that figure uh, in terms of um, promoting debate and discussion about CCTV? I think the most significant point to understand about this is that the majority of the 5.9 or 4.9 or 4, whichever number you, you choose, the majority of those cameras are actually owned by private businesses protecting their property and their assets. And actually the number that emerged um, in terms of cameras owned by the government is um, less than 70,000. And um, what that tells us is that in fact the public is being protected by private businesses rather than being surveyed by the state. Do you think that the uh, headline figure um, is of how many CCTV cameras there are in the UK is actually very important at all? I personally don't think that because I think what's more important is are the camera systems out there, are they installed correctly, are they there, are they fit for purpose and do they meet the user needs and I think they're, they're much more important uh, subjects than how many cameras. So do you think that, um, that owners of private um, CCTV systems should um, be required to adhere to certain standards? Well, I think any private uh, CCTV system, you need an operational requirement. Well, where does the owner find out what he needs to do to produce an operational requirement? There is no standard at the moment. So that's a standard gap. So I think what the Surveillance Camera Commissioner can and probably is doing at the moment is looking at all the requirements for standards from design of the, sorry, from the operational requirement system right through to when the pictures are being held up in court and looking at what standards we have out there and where are the standards gaps and then probably come to industry, come to civil liberties, come to end users and get the group together to produce the necessary standard to make sure all camera systems in the UK are proportionate and fit for use. Coincidentally, on the day that the BSIA released its report, the House of Commons was debating the adoption of the CCTV Code of Practice as required by the Protection of Freedoms Bill. Open the House of Commons, as you mentioned earlier, they're debating the, uh, the Code of Practice. Uh, what impact uh, do you think that's going to have on uh, the CCTV industry? Well, I'm, I'm really hopeful that the uh, debate in the Commons actually will support the drive for more effective regulation. I think the association has always supported effective regulation, whereas most industries try and fight it. We think if it raises standards, supports increased uh, or better, better practice, then uh, we would support that and drive it. And I'm hopeful that the, uh, our political friends in the House will uh, do likewise. Whilst the government have made a good start, there's still a long way to go in as much that they're not actually addressing the bulk of the challenge, which is the, the extent of camera penetration in the private sector. So I think they're missing a big chunk of the issue. Do you think that there's much appetite in government for um, further regulation of um, private CCTV? Um, I, I'm not convinced that there is actually great appetite uh, with the current government for increased regulation. I think the, um, the ideology is, is one of reduced regulation um, and more free market operation. But I think uh, that the two can go hand in hand, actually. It's not necessarily a, a huge burden on business uh, and certainly not um, overly intrusive on consumers if uh, it goes to ensure that they're all operated and installed and monitored. Uh, subject to certain minimum standards. I think that can only be a good thing for all parties. The BSIA report, which runs to 51 pages, contains a wealth of data about the number of cameras in over 200 sectors of society, so it is truly a comprehensive survey of the industry. However, fears that the media would focus on the headline figures were borne out by a quick scan of websites this morning. There is a new official figure for the number of cameras in the UK, 
and it is 5.9 million.